Brothers and sisters, today is Thursday, May 26, St. Filipinary Day. Filipinary was a sign of contradiction, combining popularity with piety against the background of post-Renaissance in the very corrupted city of Rome. And to top that, a disinterested clergy as well. At early age, Philip abandoned the chance to become a businessman, moved to Rome from Florence, and devoted his life to God. After three years of philosophy and theology studies, he gave up a thought of ordination. The next 13 years were spent in a vocation unusual at the time that a lay person engaged in prayer and apostolated would rule the spiritual life in Rome. During the time the Council of Trent was reforming the doctrine of the Church, and Filipinary appealing personality was winning him friends from all levels of society, from beggars on the street to cardinals on the halls of the Church offices. He rapidly gathered around himself a group of lay persons just because of his audacious spirituality. Initially, they met as an informal prayer and discussion group and also served the poor people in Rome. At the urging of his confessor, Philip Neri was ordained a priest and soon became an outstanding confessor himself, gifted with the knack of piercing the pretenses of illusions of others. Though always in a charitable manner and often with a funny joke. He arranged the talks, discussions, and prayers for his penitents in a room above the church. And he sometimes led excursions to other churches, often with music and a picnic on the way. Some of Philip Neri's followers became priests themselves and lived together in community. This was the beginning of the oratory, the religious institute he founded. A feature of their life was a daily afternoon service of four informal talks with vernacular hymns and prayers. Giovanni Palestrina was one of Philip Neri's followers and composed music for the services. The oratory was finally approved after suffering through a period of accusations of being an assembly of heretics where lay persons preached and sang vernacular hymns. That sounds funny for us in modern times, doesn't it? After spending a day hearing confessions and receiving visitors, Philip Neri suffered a terrible attack and of hemorrhage and died on the feast today of Corpus Christi in 1595. San Filipinari, many people wrongly felt that such an attractive and joyful personality could not combine with an intense spirituality. We beseech you, melt our rigid, narrow views of piety. Make our spiritual approach to sanctity one that is truly Catholic all embracing and accompanied by a good love. May we want to become not less, but more human through our striving for holiness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.